doing a car tour. I got a brand new car and I also am gonna kind of catch you up on what happened with my old car because I know I talked about it in my last day of my life. If you haven't seen that, you should definitely go check it out. But basically, probably about two months ago, my car that I had before this one started acting up really bad. I had a 2013 Nissan Sentra. So much kept going wrong, like it kept stalling and then the battery like completely died and then the engine light would come on and the brake light would come on and everything was just a mess, honestly. We took it to the dealership and they checked the entire car. They said it was totally fine. They said that the battery was completely drained, but they tested everything else in the entire car and it should work. So I got my battery replaced like a few weeks ago and we thought everything was gonna be great. I was like, awesome. There was only 67,000 miles on it. Didn't have too many miles on it and I'd never been in a car accident. So we thought it would work, but about 10 hours later, it did the same thing. It kept dying on me stalling on me, all of the engine lights, everything just kept coming on. And for someone with anxiety, and especially car anxiety, because I've been in quite a few bad accidents, I just couldn't deal with that. And it really kept stressing me out. I just like couldn't deal with that anymore. And I just, I was like, ah! So I like begged it and I was like, dad, please, 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 can we go look at new cars? Because I just wanna be in something that's safe, that doesn't give me anxiety, that I know is not gonna break down like on the highway or somewhere where it could be really bad. I probably would have had to put like a decent amount of money into it over the next few years because it was getting up like closer to 100,000 miles and it wasn't like a brand new car. I did it with my own money, so I was like very like, I just think that it's time. That's basically the gist of what happened with my car. I did get this car 100% by myself, like my dad is not on the title or anything, it is only me, so I'm really proud of myself for that because I feel like it's really like adult things. And I'm just excited because this is such a nice car and I feel like it was a step in the direction of like being an adult because I am gonna graduate college this year and it's a big transition period in my life so not trying to brag out in this video i just want to show you guys my car because you guys were really interested and it's a new exciting part of my life and i always want to share that with you guys so i'm gonna stop rambling and let's go check out my car all right everyone this is my car lola yes i named her lola but she is in the shade habanero red and she's beautiful we love her wow it like almost looks orange in the light you kind of see it's like an orangey red it's really really pretty and we have no hubcaps if you know anything about my last car i always lost my hubcaps so these are actual metal alloy wheels so they'll stay on and not fall off which is so much nicer but this is kind of what she looks like i wasn't sure about this color i'm not gonna lie when i first got it but i ended up really really liking it All right, so this is the inside of my car. I got the light interior. This was the big selling point for me. This is what I really, really wanted in a new car because my last car had black and it was so freaking hot. It was awful. So it's kind of what that looks like, but the real winner is the dash here. So this is kind of what the dash looks like. It has a really nice wheel. I love Volkswagens because they just feel really, really sturdy but it has a little bit of space down here. We don't have heated seats, but we do have the thing where it shuts off the engine if you're idling at a light, so it saves gas. And then I believe it also has like the lane assist thing. I haven't used this yet. I need to read the manual and kind of figure that out, but you can change the music, everything on the steering wheel. It has a really nice dash. I'm just like obsessed with this. And then this is kind of the stereo and it does have Apple CarPlay. So let me turn on the car so I can show you guys. Okay, so you, after you plug in your phone, this whole screen pops up and it's so freaking cool. You can use this to navigate, pulls up everything, which is super awesome. It has the voice to text, so you can kind of like pick who you want to text and then Siri comes up and you just tell her who you want to text and I'll type it all out for you. And then also if you get any incoming text messages, it'll read it to you, which I really like. These are all the different apps and stuff you can use with it which is really cool. Um, love podcast apps, audiobook, phone. So if someone calls you, it comes up and you can actually talk through your car, which I also think is really cool. But this is kind of what the dash looks like when it's turned on. It's really cool. This, you can kind of scroll through. It tells you your oil temperature, economy, um, the range, total time driving distance, all that stuff. But on the screen, you can change your audio, telephone, vehicle status, driving data, like 
literally so much. I usually just do like the driving data so I can get my miles. The seats are really nice. It is the light interior that I wanted. It is kind of like a felty cloth material, which I also liked because I live in Texas and it's so freaking hot that leather is just too much for me, honestly. And then here in the middle, it also has like this little middle console and I have like some aspirin and this is actually my car mount for my camera. Has some nice cup holders. That's your parking brake eco if you're like driving in the city and just stuff like that up here we also just have some mirrors both sides all the lights there isn't a thing for your glasses here though which i also think is a little bit weird but i'm okay with that job doing this car tour I've never done a car tour ever but I just kind of want to show you guys what she looks like what I got going on I do want to get like a cool steering wheel cover and then something for around my license plate that's like cute and sparkly probably because like I feel like that's very me but other than that this is basically my car so that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did if you're new here definitely hit the subscribe button and join the fam again I was not trying to brag in this video I just wanted to show you guys my car and kind of let you in on what's been going on in my life because I've been posting all over my social media and especially my Instagram stories about like everything that had gone wrong with my car it was a mess and it has finally come to a conclusion and I am so happy so again thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye